Hello, my name is Kevin Gillick, and I am the Executive Director of Global Platform. In this webcast, I will introduce you to Global Platform, its evolving mission, and the role it plays in securing devices and delivering digital services. Consumer and industrial demand is driving growth in digital services across market sectors such as payments, telecoms, transportation, automotive, smart cities, smart home, utilities, healthcare, premium content, government and enterprise ID, to name just a few. There is also an increasing number and type of devices. This includes everything from smart cards, smartphones, tablets and set-top boxes, to wearables, connected cars, and other IoT devices. The industry expects that the number of connected devices to reach 50 billion by the year 2020. That's an average of five connected devices per person. This dynamic landscape creates a very real security challenge, including data integrity, privacy, and protection from malware and cyber attacks. Global Platform exists to help solve this security challenge. Its technology gives service providers and device manufacturers the means to interact seamlessly when deploying secure digital services regardless of market or device type. The result makes the mass marketing of secure digital services possible while bringing time and cost efficiencies to stakeholders within the ecosystem. So allow me to take a moment to tell you about the Global Platform Organization. Global Platform is a nonprofit industry association driven by over 100 member companies. The organization uniquely facilitates collaboration between service providers and device manufacturers to produce specifications and other technical tools, which are today highly regarded as the international standard for enabling digital services and devices to be trusted and securely managed throughout their life cycle. A standardized framework ensures devices can protect against threats and attacks by making use of standardized security services appropriate to their market requirements. The technology's widespread global adoption across numerous markets delivers cost and time to market efficiencies to ecosystem participants. Global Platform is a member-driven technical community Organizational goals are achieved thanks to the dedication and ongoing contributions from our membership who share a common goal to manage and evolve the global platform specifications. There are over 150 technical documents available, representing the output of 20 years of energetic and effective industry collaboration. Members influence the organization's output through participation in six strategic market-focused task forces to understand requirements and use cases through three technical committees that have the skill, knowledge, and experience to develop and maintain relevant industry specifications, and through 20 working groups, which have the technical ability to provide workable solutions that meet the needs of the market. Our members represent leading service and platform providers, software vendors, device manufacturers, mobile network operators, chip manufacturers, and test laboratories from across the globe. Global Platform Technology is developed in collaboration with numerous standards bodies and regional organizations across the world to ensure continual relevance and timeliness. We do this to ensure Global Platform standards truly reflect the requirements of the marketplace and are aligned with the work product of other industry bodies. Global platform technology provides greater simplicity, convenience, and security while supporting privacy. There are three key requirements of a successful secure digital service deployment. Protection of secure digital services and associated assets, certification of secure components within devices, and end-to-end -end remote management of digital services and device secure services. Addressing these requirements speeds up alignment between service providers and device manufacturers on technical and commercial interests and offers a simpler route to market. For the device manufacturers, this means they can embed a standardized and certified security hardware firmware combination known as a secure component. This meets the needs of service providers for an accessible, 
on-device physical trust anchor to protect digital services from fraud and attack. And for the service providers, they are free to focus on enhancing their digital offerings by using a secure component to solve security challenges. Additionally, service providers are empowered to develop their digital services just once and deploy it universally across any device with a standardized secure component with the assurance that functionality and required security levels will be maintained across all. Let's look at each key requirement. The first area that we standardize is the protection of secure digital services and associated assets. Global platform technology enables secure digital services to be brought to market by protecting digital assets, such as a fingerprint or cryptographic keys, and their associated security services, such as an authentication service. We do this by standardizing two secure component technologies that answer to different market requirements. This slide shows the successful deployment figures of these two technologies. A secure element, or SE, is a tamper-resistant platform, typically a one-chip secure microcontroller capable of securely hosting applications and their confidential and cryptographic data in accordance with the rules and security requirements set forth by well-identified trusted authorities. 22 billion SEs shipped worldwide are based on global platform specifications. A trusted execution environment, or TEE, is a secure area of the main processor in a smartphone or any connected device. It ensures that sensitive data is stored, processed, and protected in an isolated, trusted environment. The TE's ability to offer isolated, safe execution of authorized security software, known as trusted applications, enables it to provide end-to-end -end security by enforcing protected execution of authenticated code, confidentiality, authenticity, privacy, system integrity, and data access rights. Comparative to other security environments on the device, the TE also offers high processing speeds and a large amount of accessible memory. And more than 1 billion TEE-enabled processors are shipped per quarter. These two technologies, individually or collectively, address various functional and security requirements of the market, while offering service providers the required levels of on-device security for their needs. Within the context of secure components, there are four features that differentiate what global platform technology delivers. First is a root of trust. Global platform defines how device manufacturers can create a secure root of trust, which meets the requirements of service providers and can be utilized by them. This enables digital services to be bound to a physical on-device trust anchor. Next is application management. Providers deploy their services using a back-end server, which is under their control, enabling them to control the security level associated with that starting point of their deployment. Global Platform standardizes application management across the entire life cycle of a digital service in a multi-actor business environment from initial loading through updates and deletion. Another important feature is flexible security to meet multiple market requirements. Global Platform's diverse member base ensures early insight on evolutions in security requirements across market sectors. This results in Global Platform technology being able to meet the defined security requirements of multiple market sectors on the same secure component. The technology is continually updated while retaining backward compatibility. And finally, there's isolation. Only Global Platform enables the isolation of applications with different security requirements running on the same secure component. This isolation capability protects the integrity of a digital service deployed alongside services from other providers. The second requirement of a successful secure component launch is certification. The Global Platform Certification Program confirms product adherence to functional requirements 
and market-defined security thresholds. Certification enables device manufacturers to proactively market their products as meeting the needs of a digital service providers. The programs objectively illustrate that a device manufacturer's global platform-based secure component and digital service management capabilities are interoperable and meet required security levels, aiding service providers in their selection of products which match their needs. Global Platform manages and evolves two such programs. The first program focuses on functional certification for SE and TEE products to provide reassurance that the digital service will perform as intended in the field. The second program focuses on security certification for TEE products to ensure that secure components meet the required levels of security defined for a particular service, enabling service providers to comply with industry requirements and manage risk effectively. The final requirement of a successful secure component launch is the end-to-end -end remote management of digital services. Once a device supporting a digital service is deployed in the field, it is very important that it can be securely managed and updated remotely by the device manufacturer. It is equally important that service providers are able to establish a secure connection with the on-device trust anchor in order to deploy and update their service and also get encrypted data. Global Platform makes possible standardized end-to-end -end remote management and updates of digital services across any connectivity channel. Additionally, to support a multiple market sector approach, Global Platform also standardizes messaging between stakeholders in the value chain so they understand what data and formats are required to load or provision a service into a secure component. By standardizing these three key requirements of a successful secure digital service deployment, Global Platform speeds up alignment between service providers and device manufacturers on technical and commercial interests, resulting in a simpler and more rapid route to market. In addition to our specifications and technology library available on the Global Platform website, there are a number of tools to help people understand what we do. This includes an extensive technical training program, numerous publications developed by our members, ranging from white papers to videos, and Global Platform events offering networking with industry peers and learning opportunities through seminars, webinars, and workshops. This webcast was intended to provide a brief overview of Global Platform Organization, but to find out more, please visit our public website at www.globalplatform.org or contact us directly through the various communication channels provided. On behalf of all Global Platform members, I want to thank you for listening to this webcast today. We hope you found it interesting as well as informative. Thanks again and have a great day.